My experience with IRT to the brain is basically derived from the phase one, two trial we did. My experience with these patients is that IRT is basically pretty well tolerated uh, in the brain metastasis setting. There's even a very low frequency of toxicity um, because these patients will not have the necessity to undergo any other radiotherapy to their brain. And other than that, in the brain metastasis setting, we see that it's a better, equal if not better local control than what we do in the, in the what we previously did with gamma knife or with stereotactic radiosurgery to the cavity. And in the glioblastoma setting, based on our phase one, two tr trial, our experience that we can efficiently prevent this tumor from regrowing in the cavity. The patients that will benefit from an intraoperative shot of radiotherapy are those that are expected to have a very fast tumor regrowth in the cavity. There's basically two kinds of patients. Patients that underwent brain metastasis resection and patients that suffer from glioblastoma. The value for the patients will be that the intraoperatively delivered radiotherapy will deplete most, if not all, of the microscopically seeded tumor cells in the cavity and thus provide a longer time until this tumor will grow back in the cavity. Usually, after resection of a brain metastasis, these patients have a time uh, where they wait for the radiation oncology to kick in. This time, plus radiotherapy that's actually delivered to the cavity to prevent tumor regrowth, is time where this patient does not receive any adjuvant therapy for the primary tumor that just spread in the brain. So, I think the barrier of waiting for systemic therapy after the resection of a brain metastasis in the brain is simply dropping when you deliver this one-stop shop, take out the tumor and give the intraoperative radiation during the time of resection. IRT is an additional option that I can offer to my patient and that many other centers around my centers do not offer. So I can provide a service and I'm happy to provide an extra service to my patients that other sites do not, do not provide or are not capable of um, providing to their patients. So the feedback I get from neurosurgeons is that they're basically uh, longing for options they can add uh, to their surgery. Specifically, if it comes to a point where they could not take out all of the microscopically dispersed tumor cells, my feeling is that neurosurgeons are very eager to add on to very optimal, very good surgery, but they were very happy if they can offer an additional extra uh, in terms of clearing the cavity from tumor cells and in terms of saving more time that the patient can go directly into oncology without the need to, to make a touchdown in radiation oncology and then proceed to oncology. SAIS to us is a very, very important partner. They have a uh, pretty efficient clinical application team that supports us in new applications. Partnering with a company becomes important in cases where you do procedures for the first time, do procedures that are not established in your center, and this is where you work together with the company pretty intensive and a clinical application team that's required 
once you do something for the first time, you're quite happy to have a backup from the company. We implemented InfraBeam into our practice to bridge the gap between surgery and any other therapy. We always have to make sure that we're thinking about cancer, treating cancer. And cancer does not stop to grow. It's not an on and off growth after resection. It's a very simple fact that after resection, there is microscopic disease remaining. Even after perfect surgery, there is a biological possibility of remaining cancer cells. So the earlier you're going to stop cancer uh, in proliferating in your cavity, the better you're off in the treatment of this disease. So this was motivating us to acquire a possibility to be earlier in the whole treatment chain of treating a cancer patient. And you're never going to be earlier than in the first surgery. Efficient.